Hi Aquarius, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. Uh, this is going to be a love story reading for whenever you come across it. It is timeless in that sense and uh, it's a general reading so take only what resonates. Do not force the messages to apply to your situation, okay? Um, and I also want to say that uh, this is for you either either way okay whether you are in a relationship whether you've just started seeing someone or if you are single it doesn't matter we're keeping it open and we'll see what kind of messages spirit wants to bring through for you and um, yeah i hope you're doing well for those of you who are new here um i hope you enjoy the reading and consider subscribing to the channel for those of you who are returning, welcome back and thank you so much for being here again. Okay, so we have the first card there. Let's see, what does Aquarius need to know? I don't know. I don't think that's the right card. What does Aquarius need to know in terms of their love life, what's happening? And okay. <laughs> okay so this i feel is for someone who is um single okay that's what's coming across here and we've got loyal heart at the bottom of the deck so it couldn't be more clear I feel that spirit is trying to tell you to get out of your cocoon, okay? Um, <laughs> and reevaluate is what I'm hearing, okay? Reevaluate what you want in a partner. If you've maybe recently left somebody or you uh, you find yourself being single and uh, not so ready to mingle i think that spirit is trying to tell you to take that leap of faith to come to the edge to experience something new because you're ready for it okay you might think that i don't know i'm not sure if i'm ready for it uh maybe you've been single for a long time and uh you've been kind of in hibernation um you know um but I feel like they are definitely guiding you to something that is new, something that is exciting, something that's really meant for you. And that's likely to be um, perhaps uh, someone in your either your close knit circle or someone I feel who you start off being re like really good friends with. You have a great rapport with and you have like a lot of. You know, I'm getting that like attracts like kind of uh, feeling where uh, you have a lot of things in common. You can talk to each other like friends and um, even though it's it's kind of a small door that's opening up, uh, it's still an opening. Okay, that is what I'm getting. And with this card being here, I feel like that is why I was hearing reevaluate because... Some of you might have been prone to getting attracted to the wrong kind of people in your life where and that's I feel why this card is also here to kind of um take a bit of a break, yes, in term I mean if you're single, then you are taking a break anyway, but to not really take a break but to reevaluate what um what it is that you're looking for in a relationship and uh, are you really you know um, do you find yourself attracting people who are not really good for you what do you really want in a partner that is what I am getting as a message for you that's what you are being urged to um, evaluate okay at this point of time but know that you are actually ready for a, sorry, for a new beginning. It's, uh, I feel like you've been waiting for quite some time for this. And the opportunity is going to show up, okay? So rest assured. But 
they're also saying to take that time between this uh, transition to evaluate your um, desires, okay? That is what I'm getting here. Okay. So, let's start clarifying these cards here. Why is... Um, okay, that makes sense. Why is the come to edge card here? Okay. Come to the edge. That's too many. Okay. Uh, so, I am feeling that some of you may be quite, uh, you know, there might be like an internal conflict going on where you're thinking about whether it's really worth it to leave your comfort zone and get out there and put yourself out there i'm hearing um expose yourself so perhaps some of you are thinking about whether it's uh whether you really want to like i said put yourself out there and are thinking about <laughs> I'm I'm also hearing kind of half expecting a heartbreak, okay. So if that's the kind of mindset that you're coming with, then I feel like you um you might be thinking I'd rather just be, you know, single and enjoy enjoy my life rather than taking this risk because it's a big risk and I I'm visualizing an Aquarius who's perhaps been in their cocoon for a really long time. And who's not feeling all that ready to uh, take a step forward and put themselves out there in this big, bad, mean world of uh, dating again. <laughs> okay, Because uh, what I'm also hearing is you find yourself kind of lost out in the sea because it's there's so many fishes. Okay, too many fish in the sea, but you're not really sure if you really want to even go out there that's the kind of feeling okay and the page of wands is telling you to actually be curious be open to that sense of adventure and uh, not let your inner conflict stop you from going ahead and uh, looking for something new because it can actually have potential for growth okay if you allow it is what i'm getting interesting so it's almost like a cancer vibe okay because cancerians are known to like live in their little crab shells okay yeah we've got the six of swords here which is really nice to see because you've got the five of swords here so i feel like you're heading in the right direction you will be able to move past this conflict you know this inner conflict after doing some much needed soul searching and really giving it some thought i feel like you can gradually start to put yourself out there is what i'm getting okay uh this doesn't really feel like a relationship reading so <clears throat> okay we've got the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck thank you for showing up um yeah i feel like the message here is really to Understand, first of all, that your independence is not going to be lost somewhere in this uh, journey, okay, in this transition from being maybe single to being coupled to being with somebody. I, I feel like uh, some of you might fear that you will lose something, you know, lose something precious to you, which is probably your freedom. Aquarius is kind of known to be the rebel rebel um, sign, you know, where you, you don't really want to follow the footsteps of somebody else and you want to do your own thing and that's, that's good, that's fair enough. But I feel like Spirit is assuring you that you will not really lose a part of you or lose anything or lose your individuality, okay, by stepping out of this comfort zone that you've been in 
and moving past that inner conflict to be able to see what else is out there and taking small steps taking baby steps knowing that you have um reached a point where you can actually uh rely on your inner strength to overcome any kind of challenges also that may be thrown in your path okay so and some of you could actually be attracting a leo or even a virgo interesting a lot of mixed energies i'm seeing in most of these readings where <laughs> air signs are getting along with fire signs and things like that um very very interesting okay look who showed up okay got the moon and the king of swords yeah okay can we get one more card please why is the why is the to the sea card huh? and the time for the nap no Okay, <clears throat> also possibly a Hierophant and once, sorry about that, once again we have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, so I really feel like you're being guided, okay, by spirit in the right direction. And towards something that is more stable, something that is more secure. And we have an air sign showing up here, okay, with the king of swords, which is a fellow air sign. Or it could be your energy as well, okay. Um, and there is earth here as well with Taurus again. So, we've got Leo, we've got Virgo, we've got Taurus. And a fellow air sign as well so either way i feel like uh, you're being led in a new direction in towards a new opportunity in your love life to explore something new and i'm also hearing something that is not like what you've experienced before okay so don't fall into that trap again is what i'm hearing because um, what you're looking for is something not not just that shiny outside, but something that is tangible, stable, something that will last, you know, the test of time. And it's going to be there for you, someone who's going to be there for you. Uh, someone who's not got um, jittery feet is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, so if the last person that you were with was like that, you know, kind of wishy-washy, someone who didn't feel, make you feel all that secure then this is something that's going to change and that's perhaps why you're also resistant to that change because you're feeling uh, vulnerable perhaps thinking that maybe I'm going to attract the same kind of uh, stupid person again who doesn't respect me or doesn't give me the kind of security that I'm looking for okay so your rebel self is, self is kind of uh, trying to protect you from that. But I can see that you're heading towards something that is very stable and secure and more like uh, in a conventional sense, okay? Uh, this could be someone older than you, I'm feeling, okay, for some of you. But the idea here is to get clarity of mind again, to be really clear what I was hearing initially, to reevaluate your uh, in terms of what you're looking for in a partner and not wanting to compromise on those values okay and uh, with the moon card being here i feel like those are some of the apprehensions that you have which i feel if you take the time out to you know um to sort of understand and deal with you know those kind of fears we've got the moon sort of twice here so there's definitely some fear associated with moving forward and i feel like this this period of time is allowing you to face those fears and uh, 
sort of reassure yourself first, you know, that no matter what happens, you've got your back and the universe has your back. So you're going to be fine. Okay. It's, it's kind of risky to be vulnerable again in, in a relationship, in an intimate relationship. But that's how it works, right? I mean, you've got to meet them halfway as well. So that's what I'm getting for you. Now, let's get some advice for you, Aquarius. Hmm. So what is the advice for Aquarius? Can you please give us some advice for Aquarius? I feel like the previous relationship or whatever it is that you were involved with was quite dramatic, you know. Um, yeah, full of drama, chaos is what I'm getting. We've got physical touch, a tender touch means can mean so much. And we've got act as if your partner is here. Wow, <laughs> I've never seen that card before. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they were here with you so you will always consider them. I feel like you're really being drawn, um, called to work with the law of attraction here. And both of these cards are ending with 7 here, okay, which is a very Neptunian number and you've got the 7 here as well. Okay. Maybe you're seeing a lot of 777, I don't know. Could be, that's possible. But I'm getting a really good energy here. Um, again, I'm sensing this sense, this bit of, you know, hesitance from her um, towards this person. A bit of, I'm not sure if this is the right idea, you know, that kind of a feeling. But uh, spirit is really asking you to be open to that transformation to that change and uh, to go with the rhythm of life to go with the flow and to work with the law of attraction and imagine the kind of person that you really want in your life um, not like in a physical attributes kind of a sense of course if you want you can be like a little bit specific but try to uh, take this time to work with the law of attraction in the sense that jot down the kind of points, the the traits that you want, the traits of essence, okay? Not just this person should look good and <laughs> should be hot and sexy or whatever. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Um, if you want that, that's, uh, that's great. Um, but, you know, just um, just noting that I should find this person attractive and they should be someone who is loyal to me and who's not you know addicted to dramatic and manipulative kind of games someone you can build a strong foundation with then act as if that person is already here and uh, maybe even communicate with them you know telepathically in your dreams or something i feel like that could happen for some of you but it all depends on how open you are to all of these things. So the whole point of um, the law of attraction and uh, the secret, so to speak, okay, the secret, it's not really a secret, uh, is to be open and to be receiving and to work, um, uh, to work with the universe with a sense of trust and faith, okay, without that sense of belief i feel like nothing is possible so believe that it's possible that you can have the kind of partner that you're looking for you know that ten of cups and you've got the ten of pentacles and the six of pentacles at the bottom of the neck really nice so this is more like a give and take equal footing equal kind of energy so that's really nice that's what's coming towards you so watch out for that and really start to imagine the kind of partner that you want okay um not like um waiting for brad pitt or whatever but 
uh, be a little realistic in your approach and um, yeah be open and be, re be receiving okay and try to work through your fears and go past them to that new path okay so that's your reading i hope this resonated and i hope this was useful to you let me know in the comment section and i wish you all the very best sending you much love aquarius i'll see you again in another video god bless bye bye